Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're going to take a look at Major League Baseball. What teams are the surprises? What teams might be flying under the radar? Guys, I'm going to kick it off to you. One of the biggest surprises uh, for me starting the baseball season, the Chicago White Sox. You know, We knew there was going to be a good team in Chicago. We didn't know there was going to be two of them. The White Sox are playing great. Is this something that is sustainable, or are they playing over their heads? What's the, what's the number say, Mark? Did you, did you want to start on that one? Well, you start. And I'll okay. Just make some okay. Yeah, I, I don't think it's sustainable. I mean, we had... We, we projected the White Sox at 82 and 79, so a winning season, but they're at 23 and 11 right now, 67% win <laughs> percentage. I mean, that, that's not sustainable. Um, one of the things that's, that's good about the White Sox is their number one guy, Chris Sale. He, he's, he's brought money to our table all year. But there's only one Chris Sale. Latos, we, we don't particularly care for. The rest of the starting pitching, I really haven't done many adjustments, but they're not – spectacular Quintana we have rated in an 85. I don't think that uh, uh, they're going to be able to assist. I mean, obviously, I think they're really playing above their heads. I, I really like in that division, I, we like Cleveland. We, we think Cleveland has the starting pitching, the hitting, and uh, they're a little bit light on the bullpen, but even taking that into account. Are you kissing uh, up to the guy next to you? I know he's a big <laughs> Cleveland fan. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Brian, well, let's touch on Cleveland. What do you think? Uh, the Indians. Well, I like Cleveland coming into the season. I said uh, the two bets I made to win the division was Boston and Cleveland, and I'm surprised it's Chicago and Baltimore are both doing well. And you take Baltimore's look, in you know reverse. You would have thought it would have been better pitching in, in not 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 from Baltimore. I mean, not probably. I mean, they're they're hitting. The, they got they were loaded, but they were getting some pitching early on. And now you know. We'll talk about a pitcher there that just drives me crazy. Me and you were talking about him last night. Him and as there, yeah. that guy drives well, me Well, he nuts. played for Cleveland, so he, <laughs> <laughs> I understand very well. I think he drives the, the organization that he plays for crazy, too. Yeah. So. But the Indians, uh, they're playing well. They've got young pitchers, uh, you know, Salazar living up to the hype that, you know, when he came up in the league a couple of years ago, I know, you know, you were excited when he made his, you know, debut and stuff. And, you know, he's pitching well this year. Can he continue that? Yeah, he can, but he pitches much better at home than he does on the road, like a lot of young players. Uh, Bauer's the uh, missing link to me. He's yep. he's had terrific talent. Some people have said he's been an uncoachable. I'm surprised he did so well when he went to the bullpen. I thought that was going to be a major, because he's one of those guys yeah, that yeah. he's got to believe. And he went to the bullpen. He, he did his time. Now he's back in the rotation again. If they can get uh, Bauer to pitch well on the season, there's not going to be too many pitching staffs that are going to be better in Cleveland. Yeah, and Kansas City is really reeling right now. And we, you know, I was high on the season win total under on Kansas City this year. That, that was my favorite season win total. And, you know, they got off at the beginning of the season playing well. And then now the last, you know, 10, 14 days, you know, we're, we're starting to see where Kansas City's headed. The pitching staff is in shambles right starting now. Starting pitching is, is not good. I mean, it, was, it wasn't good at the start of the year, and it's gotten worse. And, that, and, and yeah. the pitching was always one of their strengths. Uh, you know, they played small ball, you know, all those years and manufactured runs and then just get those first six innings and turn it over to the bullpen. Um, but, you know, they're not turning it over to the bullpen with leads this year, obviously. Well, Holland is no longer with them, so that pushes everybody back one inning. But a team I'd like to discuss is the Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers are one of those teams, obviously, we've seen they have tons of money. They have tons of talent. They've also had injuries this year, but that's a team who's played actually a very weak schedule, and they're still not distancing themselves from anybody else. They're talking about bringing the young guys up now. They're talking about Julio Reyes, their 19-year-old phenom. They're possibly bringing him up to go to the bullpen. I'm not sure that's what you want to do with your young pitchers. Uh, I, obviously, he's, he's in a situation where he didn't pitch a lot of innings last year because of uh, a freak injury, but... Do you bring him just to the bullpen when you're trying to stretch him out? He's up to six innings now in the minors. Dodgers are doing some things that I think are really strange right now. Any sleepers you got? <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. We just touched upon the Dodgers, and, and I have a little bit different take on it. I think they're going to write the ship over there. I think the starting pitching, the one-two combination of Kershaw and Maeda, that's a really good mm -hmm. start. And, and Stripling's been pretty good. Uh, on the season I haven't really done any any adjusting other than to downgrade Alex Wood I'm not real high on him mm -hmm. uh, but I but I still like Kenley Jansen in the in the back end of the bullpen there they've got a solid bullpen great hitters uh, I I don't know maybe 
maybe if it's more, hey, we're just starting the season, we're 30 games into it, now they're going to get ready to start playing. It, I think it's more in their head than, than anything else. Give me a 30-second take on Arizona. That's your, that's your uh, team uh, out there. They're playing well right now as we're taping. I think they're on a five-game winning streak, uh, you know, heading in. This is a team that went out and spent money, you know, got Granky, which I still don't understand. He's not made for that ballpark, and, and you've seen his stats. They're night and day, you know, difference between pitching there and then when he's pitching on the road. Well, one of the other things about Granky is that the tremendous downgrade he got from going to – from Yasmani you know, Grandal and, and A.J. Ellis over in, to, to Wellington Castillo. And he's a real precise pitcher, re relies on that catcher framing mm -hmm. and that interaction with the catcher, and that's really, really important. Has this huge downgrade with, with Arizona's catchers. And, then, of course, you're right about the ballpark. I mean – a, a long fly ball, it, maybe not even gets to the warning track at, at Dodger Stadium, mm -hmm. is, is out of the ballpark at, at Chase Field. So, I, I'm actually reading a book. I do a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. um, Big Data Baseball. I don't know if you've read it yet, but it basically talks about the Pittsburgh Pirates oh, well, and yeah. what they have done from when they were lousy making the playoffs. And one of the first things they did was realize the pitch framing. And that's why they brought in Russell Martin. Russell Martin. And that's really important to them, and it's important to a lot of teams. And and you're right, the the Arizona going from Montero, we're going to the Cubs, and uh, it's it's a big uh, it's a big negative. All right, good stuff, guys. Uh, we'll be back uh, with more here at Wager Talk. Don't forget, every Tuesday at Wager Talk, it's two dollar Tuesday. We take one capper and we offer his best bet that day for just two dollars. It's a great way to introduce yourself to wagertalk.com or try out a new capper. Check it out each and every Tuesday. Wagertalk.com. It's excuse me, wagertalk.com's two dollar Tuesday. We'll be back with more.